Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, welcome. Today's business topic is going to be about doing the hard now so that you can benefit later. But before I get started, let me introduce myself to my new followers. My name is Kamitra Ampasad. I'm originally from the Caribbean island of Trinidad and Tobago. I now live in Calgary, Canada, and I've been doing this business for six years. I am a business coach and mentor who helps people to set up and build and scale their own digital business using the same platform that I have been using for the past six years. So today I want to talk about something. My husband and I were actually talking about this uh, topic yesterday. We were just having a random conversation and I was like, you know what? I feel really strongly about this. So therefore I'm going to make that this, this my topic today. And that's about life doing the hard stuff in life, right? Now, life is hard, but the more you do something, the more you do the hard stuff, the easier it becomes, and then life becomes easy. But the cycle then repeats itself because a new challenge then presents itself when you get, when something becomes easy. So it's just continuous cycle of hard to easy, hard to easy, right? And the more you do something, the easier it gets, and the faster you're able to accomplish something new and different, right? Now, the driving force for someone to actually do something hard, it all depends on your why. And what I mean by that, it's where do you want to go in life? What do you actually want to get out of life? And why do you want to get it, right? If you have no clear goals and you just find a job because I just have bills to pay, then all you'll ever be doing is just paying your bills. So when you get really clear on the type and the quality of life that you want, I mean that bigger house, um, to fly first class or to do private jets, whatever you want, like or to take family vacations, whatever that step up is for you to earn more money, whatever that step up is for you, you have to be very clear on what it is so you know which direction you're actually going to want to make that change. And then you have to know why you actually want to get it. And that's going to be your driving force for you to tackle the hard, knowing fully well, the more you do it, the easier it's going to become. So you can create that life of ease as well, right? So I'm going to give some examples and I'm going to start outside of this business, just general life examples, right? So eating healthy is hard, right? It takes money, first of all, to buy organic food and healthier food. It takes time to prep these things differently. It takes time for you to cook if you're going to do it home. And then if you're buying it outside, you have to make sure and find reputable places where you know that it's actually healthy, healthier oils, healthier cook times, everything like that, right? So it's hard to maintain that healthy eating habit, right? But you know what's also hard? Eating junk food, eating processed food, all of those types of food, that's hard. And it might seem easy because you quickly eat it. It's easy, uh, eat less money. You, it's very convenient. It's every corner. It's everywhere in the grocery. Um, all those snacks and sweet things, whatever. But in reality, that is hard because when you put that food into your body, that easy food into your body, guess what? You're making your system work over time to digest it. You're not getting the nutrition that you actually need to live a quality life, which means put yourself in 10, 20 years. You're more likely going to have some kind of condition, diabetes or cancer. Those things are so rampant now. And it's because of the quality of the food that we're putting in our body, right? So when you see it like that, you recognize both are hard. Eating healthy plus eating junk food is hard, right? Because in the back end, if you keep doing that, that lifestyle, it does not serve you. So therefore, you now have different issues to deal with, which is hard as well, right? So choose your heart. For me, I recently had a huge wake up call in terms of the quality of food that I have been eating. And I have made that a choice to switch into being more healthy because I now understand the quality of life I want 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. But before that, I was just looking at the, the now, or oh, it's easy to eat this, it's quicker, it's cheaper, all of those things, right? So I had to actually project what type of life I wanted way out into the future. So therefore, I can make the change today. So therefore, I do the hard change today. So therefore, later will be easier. Later, I will benefit from it. Another common example is exercising, right? Now, exercising is hard to have that commitment to actually exercise every single day, whether it's a simple walk or not. You have to have that time. You have to have that mindset where I'm going to do this instead of watching TV or I'm going to do this instead of just sitting down on phone, uh, running through my Facebook feed, right? So exercising is hard. That commitment is hard. But you know what's also hard? 
getting older and having stiff joints or where you can't pick up your own groceries or you can't open that bottle, that that jar, that is also hard, right? So choose your heart. What type of life do you want to do? And what type of life do you want to create? And you can absolutely do it when you recognize both of those lifestyles are hard. So you have to choose the one that you will ultimately benefit from. So let's just jump into the business now, right? Because at the end of the day, this is an amazing system. So working for someone else is hard, right? You're on their timing, you're building their dreams, you're going on vacation when they approve it, you're getting paid what they think you're worth, their limits, right? You know what's also hard? Working for yourself. But when you do that hard, when you take that step to build an online business, you get flexibility, right? Starting this business has been one of the best things I've ever done because I've gained back my time. And I didn't even realize how much I needed that to have the quality of life that I want. And in full transparency, I'm not there yet, right? I'm on the path to my freedom, but I'm not exactly in that ultimate freedom as yet. But I know 100% I'm going to get there through this medium. And that's completely different from when I was in the corporate world where all I felt was stuck. And I just did not know where I was going or how my life was going to end up because it didn't have a good, I didn't see a good future. So by me making that change, that hard change, right? Because the corporate world was my comfort zone. I developed my skill as an engineer and a project manager. So I knew what I was doing. I was confident to go into those meetings. But when I had to switch to being a business owner, it, it was hard. But now it's becoming easier and easier. As the years go by, it's easier. And it's like, it's normal, right? At the end of the day, I do these lives very easy now. But in the beginning, it was hard. So working for yourself brings flexibility it brings more income because you are now the one who gets to set that limit of how much you want to earn now you have to go to you're gonna everyone's gonna have different game plans in terms of how to get to that earning potential because you have to put in your time and effort but you are now in control of that right and you reap all the rewards your boss isn't the one taking the majority of it you are the one reaping that and in my personal opinion when you become a business owner and you get that massive success and you're on your way to building that massive success, you do become a better person because you have to shift your mindset to a serving mode and helping as well. So therefore, I think you automatically start to become a better version of yourself. And that's something I didn't even know how to do, but it started to come naturally just by me building this business, right? So my point of this whole thing is starting over is hard, making a switch, doing different new things that especially if you're older maybe you probably think well you know what i did this career for so long that's just it this is the life that i'm just going to settle with but isn't settling hard as well i spent 10 years in a corporate job that i i hated and it was really hard every single day to wake up and go to that job I had to really, really, really pull it from deep within to remind myself i have bills to pay and it was hard but it wasn't worth it, right? That hard didn't turn out to be worth it. So when you decide where you want to go in your life, you need to make sure that the actions that you're doing now matches that end destination. And yes, starting something new is gonna be hard, but that's why we've built this platform. That's why we've built this business. So therefore we can help you as much as possible to make that transition smoothly and easy. Yes, you're gonna have to do your work. Yes, you're gonna have to, um, try new things and build new skills but you're more than capable of doing that you've already built so many skills you've learned to cook you've learned to drive a car you've learned whatever skill you're doing right now that's earning you money so it's the exact same thing you come in here and you learn your skills but this the potential of this is so much greater than the life that you currently have right so that's it for me in terms of do the hard now make those hard decisions now because Time is your friend. The longer you give yourself to achieve something, then guess what? It works. And the time passes no matter what, right? If you take a loan for seven years, I, I take, I've taken a loan from when I was in Trinidad, living in Trinidad. I, I took a loan for seven years. The seven years passed. But the first day I paid it, I was like, oh my God, it's so far. It's so hard. It's seven years. But the seven years passed, right? So therefore, it's the exact same thing. Time is going to go by no matter what you do, whether you say yes to the hard opportunities or you say no, the same time is going to pass. So you might as well say yes today and put that effort so therefore it can compound to give you the life that you actually want to create, okay? So that is it for me. Please comment below and let me know where you're living. And I would love to know your thoughts on 
you doing the hard now, you making those hard decisions and committing to it and every day going at it. So the compound effect will work in your future and your benefit, right? I would love to know your thoughts. So we do offer a free workshop. If someone's interested, if any of you are interested in getting started in this business, all you have to do is register on my website. You can find it on the uh, comment below of this video. Click check it and we have a live every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Mountain and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So go there, see how you feel about this. And it's time for you to decide if you want a better quality of life and what are the hard things that you need to start doing today to get that. So I will see you guys next week. Take care.